Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite some time since I made a video, but bear with me. First it was finishing grad school, then I ended up just having a baby a month ago. So here we are. So today we are going to be talking about three essential herbs that all green witches, hedge witches, and kitchen witches should have at basically all times. Um, and if not them, Wiccans, Pagans, and any other identified witch, these are pretty essential for majority of things. Um, I know that there are a lot more very important herbs as well as flowers, other plants. Don't worry, I will be making a part two, if not a part three of the herbs. Um, and I will be making a flower one as well in the future. So please do not stay. Oh, I would have chosen this one, this one, this one. You can recommend ones for the future that you think are essential. So anyways, to begin, um, first we have rosemary. So it's native to the Mediterranean and it is a masculine plant. The elements are fire and air. It is very versatile in uses, both in herb form as well as oil. It is ruled by the sun and the sign that is ruled by is Leo. It works with the third eye, solar plexus and heart chakra. There are ties to Aphrodite and it is not very difficult to grow, including indoors, at least for part of um, its time. It's like in the beginning, planting the seeds in the window, etc. If you're lucky, you'll be able to make a rosemary plant last, but it really depends on where you live. <laughs> um, so yeah, it can be grown indoors as well with correct lighting and care. Uh, rosemary, as I stated, is very versatile. It's kind of similar to white candles and how it can be used in most, if not all spells as a substitute, if not asked for already in the spell, um, which if you are unsure about candle magic or are not very familiar with that type of magic, I do have a video um, way back. It's in my playlist for um, beginning witchcraft. Um, anyways, so since rosemary is so powerful and versatile, uh, every witch should stock up in case you do not have the right ingredients that you can replace with rosemary. If not, use rosemary for whatever it is that you're doing in itself. So besides that, um, Rosemary, especially when mixed with sage or other protective herbs, is really great for banishing unwanted energies and entities. In fact, one of the sage sticks that I sell starting around the harvest time um, does include rosemary and is the banish. So anyways, moving on. So as I said, it's great for banishing unwanted energies and entities. Rosemary, when hung by the door, um, according to folklore, can keep a lover faithful. Um, rosemary can be used in love spells, protection spells, banishing spells, luck spells, removal of jealousy, purification and cleansing, memory. You can grow in the garden to bring fairies and elves um, and make it a very magical fairy garden, which again, if you go back a couple years into my Inventory here on YouTube. I made a video about um, fairy gardens as well as gardening as an empath. Um, moving on again, it is also the perfect um, substitute for frankincense, ex mainly in um, oil and incense purposes. Um, and then moving on, yeah, I, I just cut a few for my own garden. So uh, sage, um, obviously sage. Um, better yet, let's be specific, clary sage. I also use a white sage and Russian sage and other things, but clary sage, um, it's feminine and in the elements it is ruled by is water and earth. The planets it is ruled by are the moon and Mercury. And this is one that is ruled by three signs, um, which are Cancer, Pisces and Capricorn. Um, the chakras associated are the third eye and the sacral chakra. Clary sage is great for cleansing your own energy, your home, your environment, banishing negative energies or entities, um, meditation, calming oneself, opening your third eye, improving your psychic abilities and intuition, can, can induce trance, 
um, increases um, empathy in certain situations when being burned and cleansed, as well as brings clarity. Uh, so if you're in a situation of confusion or feeling stuck, burning some sage and then, you know, calming yourself and getting into a somewhat meditative state can bring a lot of clarity. Um, its medicinal purposes include depression, stress, and cramps. And then the last one I have, yeah, I've been growing a lot of mint, so I was able to get quite a bit here. Um, mint is a, another one that has a variety of uses. Um, mint is not always on a essential herb list when it's broken down by like five or less, but hear me out. I have my reasons. <laughs> it is ruled by mercury, um, air, and it is masculine. It's associated with Nyx, Hecate, and Persephone. I, in fact, use it in my Hecate products. Um, it's great for happiness and joy, love, healing, luck, money, abundance, and prosperity. It's great for helping with mental and cognitive ability, um, safety with travel, as well as travel in general, um, protection, and astral travel. It's also great for healing fatigue as well as some miscommunication issues you might be having. Medicinally, um, it can be useful for the fatigue associated with various chronic illnesses such as fibromyalgia. Uh, it's great for digestive problems, nausea, headaches, and toothaches. Um, there are various ways in which you can use these three herbs. Um, so obviously spell work is one, um, creating an incense to burn through your home or for the incense for your own ritual. Creating your own sage stick, um, and I, I don't really want to use the word smudge stick anymore, but um, you know, creating your own with some of these. Having some dried and hanging in your home, making charm bags, satchels, um, making your own products or purchasing them from you know small businesses. There is a lot that you can do, even just with candle magic, going back to that, as it was mentioned earlier, you know, rubbing the herbs on the candle after being oiled. There's so many uses for these herbs, but the bottom line is these are three that you should definitely have in your inventory as a green hedge or kitchen witch. If not, again, all witches, um, identified Wiccan, Pagan, whatever you choose to um, follow or identify as. So with that, uh, I thank you for watching our video, my video. And the next video will be on three flowers that are essential for a you know green witch, if not all witches. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, I will have my email listed below, as well as some of my social media. And I will have my business as well. Um, I am currently offering, it's not on the website, but you can do through uh, email, um, custom products until August 19th um, of any form that you find on my website, such as bath bombs, um, spell kits, potions, which are essential oil blend, um, rollerball perfumes, massage oils, mists, other bath products, anything you can think of that is on my site, I'm currently um, doing a special for customs, which is um, a very rare thing, but I thought it would be a nice celebration for after having a new child. So with that, um, I'll see, hopefully I see you next time. Please like and subscribe if you have not, and please check out my links below. Uh, I love you all, and blessed be.